Hello, welcome to Campus EPSB and an overview of the Computer Technician Program. In this overview, I'm going to talk about networking. So networking means to uh, repair and build computers, operating systems, configure devices, and it also talks about Ethernet switches and routers. I really like computers. And I hope you get something out of this overview that introduces you to what it means to be in my classroom and maybe realize that anything is possible from this Campus EPSP program. So our first activity is a LinkedIn activity. So in this activity, we connect with some industry professionals and some recruiters one from um, an Edmonton multinational company, and we try to open up summer internship, internships and job placements for networking. And there is some crossover with computer science. So if you don't know what LinkedIn is, here's a little snapshot of my LinkedIn. So on my LinkedIn, I have a Prime Minister's Award for teaching excellence. I also have an Alberta Education Excellence in Teaching Award. Uh, I have a Mathematics Council Award. I've worked with the University of Alberta as a lecturer, and I have some stuff in the library as a published researcher. It's not, it's not very good. And I have some recognition from the United Nations during World Teacher Day. And my digital space is called Mercer's Kitchen. So what can you do with the computer technician certification or designation or if you call yourself a computer technician? And you can work at Best Buy, Staples, and London Drugs. You can be the person in the back configuring computers and doing those things that happen when you purchase something. You can also work in a call center. You can help people remotely on their machines. You can help your friends and family, and hopefully you're asking for a little bit of money in return. And chapter 14 of our first course, IT Essentials, takes a deep dive into what you can do with being a computer technician. To help us understand it even more, we are gonna use Cisco Academy, uh, specifically IT Essentials, and their Cisco Certified Network Associate Program. Um, this will cover grade 10, 11, and 12 equivalent courses. And if you're more familiar with CompTIA, then ITE is the same as their A plus certification, and CCNA is similar to Network Plus. So what else is possible? Well, we're going to jump over to a website to see what that is about. Here's the website link. So this is a IT certification roadmap put out by CompTIA. It gets into a bunch of a bunch of job classifications. So information security, network, cloud, and technologies, hardware services and infrastructure. IT management and strategy, storage and data, web and mobile, software development, and then an extra one on training. So let's take a look at network and cloud technologies. This would be most similar to us. Um, that is CompTIA A+, or the IT Essentials certification out of Cisco. And there is the CCNA certification. And this is the CompTIA Network Plus certification. So this roadmap shows you the certifications that you're earning and where they lead to and what other certifications you might need to get or get interested in or at least explore. Let's go back to the presentation. Okay, we're back from the website of this roadmap, 
and let's get into my classroom. This is not my classroom. Um, a lot of this stuff that you see in a typical computer lab, we have to touch. And in a typical computer lab, it's kind of a hands-off thing. So this is actually my classroom. It starts empty. <laughs> but let's take a look at what it actually looks like. So we've got computers, we've got tools, we've got uh, other devices. And this is an example of our Chromebook repair um, pilot project. It's pretty exciting. So we take elementary Chromebooks and they're broken. And then we fix them and we give them back. So my other classroom, my virtual classroom, is a repetition of all the hands-on hardware that we have in the classroom. And this would include a website of an interactive textbook. Anyways, it's got video support. It interacts with Google Classroom, GitHub. It has online vocabulary view because we are gonna learn a lot of vocabulary words. It's got a virtual hardware connection and configuration program called Packet Tracer. And it's got an online testing center with auto grading for assignments, quizzes, and exams. This is really important because if we're after industry level certifications, you need validation from somebody that's not me. So what do we actually learn? We actually learn to remove a sticker like this, fix the device, and put it back. That's pretty impressive. So for example, what would you say if I give you a box like this, and I said, all the instructions are in the box, I want you to build it. What would you, what would you do? What would you say? Can you visualize that this is what you would build? An offline gaming system. Maybe at lunch that you could sit across from your friends and play. COVID, COVID changes the organization of this quite a bit. We'll see how it goes in the future. So thanks for listening. Check out my longer video on what this program is about and email me if you have any questions.